Hi everybody, Dr. Hodes here. I uh, wanted to show you guys a great little game for the color computer. One of the first games that I had. All these years later, oh my, uh, 30 years later, I still enjoy playing this game with my daughter, who's four. It's one of the first co-op video games that I had ever played. So I had played lots of two-player games up to this point, but no real cooperative games where you're both trying to achieve beating the game together. <clears throat> so the name of this game is called Peanut Butter Panic, and I was not able to find any playthroughs or gameplay of this video, or yeah, of this video game uh, on a video on YouTube, so I thought it'd be an interesting game to put out there and show some gameplay footage of it. So I had this game on my Tandy Color Computer 2 on a cassette deck. So a lot of programs you would actually load from cassette. So you'd, it was just an audio tape that played the, I don't know what you want to call it, the data information, uh, same that you would hear on an old dial-up modem. And it would just go through the little port into the color computer and it would read that as program code. Oh, you know what? I should be loading this while I'm explaining it because it takes a long time to load. So at the Coco prompt you'd, you'd have your cassette uh, in there and then you would type in C load oops let me go in my window here. Uh, again I am running this under an emulator I used to have a color computer too with peanut butter panic at cassette deck. I no longer do I sold my color computer and games when I got married and I had since rebought a Color Computer 2, but not a lot of the programs back. I used to have the multi uh, ROM pack, tons of uh, floppy games, tons of cassette games, tons of uh, cartridge games, and yeah, I kind of regret selling it. But at the time, uh, and even currently, I we don't really have the storage to keep all the stuff. So emulator works great and brings back that nostalgic feeling for me. So I'm going to type in a C load for cassette load M, which I believe is machine code versus a basic program. I, b I think, I think it's been a long time since I read my Coco manual. So that S in the beginning was searching and now it has found the peanut executable and it's currently reading that into memory. This was a pretty time consuming process when you went, wanted to play a game there was program pack games and they basically turned on instantly. Floppy drive games loaded up pretty fast not as fast as the cartridge games. Cassette games took a long time to load so we're sitting here waiting for this to load. Uh, one cassette game that I used to have that I haven't found on an emulator, I'd be greatly indebted to anyone who has it, was I used to have a cassette game called Taxi. And it was just, a, <clears throat> I guess, a early version of Crazy, I think Crazy Taxi? Maybe Crazy Taxi is something different. But basically, you would pick up people, get them to their destination, and depending on how far you drove them and how fast you get there, you get a certain amount of money. And I think if you got enough, you go to level two or something. So taxi, taxi for the color computer. If anyone has that, if you want to shoot me a message, I would be greatly indebted to you. Uh, I, a game that I had that I sold that I would really love to play again someday. And as you can see, it's still loading Peanut Butter Panic. So this, uh, oh, there, it finished loading. So you had to have a lot of patience uh, as a six-year-old when I first got this game. Imagine a six-year-old now sitting there waiting for it to load. They'd just go off and be like, okay, I'm going to do something else. So now you type EXEC, which is for execute. And it's going to execute whatever program has been loaded into memory, which in this case is Peanut Butter Panic.
go, 1983. So two little nutnicks on a sandwich machine. One is yellow, the other is green. See the shooting stars streak by? They're yours to catch, so up you fly. You can gobble a sandwich or jump for a star. Launch your partner and you'll both go far. I guess that's as much storyline as you got back in the day. So welcome, Nutnicks. I don't know if that's an insult or what. Uh, your goal is to make as many sandwiches as you can by catching stars to power your sandwich machine. To learn how to play, press enter. Press enter. Use the joystick to move, action button to jump. Use the star spring to launch each other to the highest stars. Get more energy by eating peanut butter sandwiches. And watch out for snarfs. So snarfs will come down and try to eat your sandwiches. So there's a little bit of strategy in this game in, this, in the sense that you need to balance which one of your players weighs more to launch the other person higher. But you can run out of energy, so you need those sandwiches. But if the snarfs eat your sandwiches, you could get in trouble. Uh, but sometimes you don't necessarily need your sandwich. So there's a little bit of strategy involved be interesting to see if there's ever an end game for this. I'm only going to play like the first two or three levels and uh, I will sadly be playing by myself uh, with two joysticks. Alright, so press enter to play. Okay, here we go. Alright, so these lower stars, uh, the first level there are no snarfs. You're totally safe. They will not come down and try to eat your sandwiches. Oops, where's my jump button? Okay. Ah, I missed the star. <laughs> All right, so you can see down the bottom it's building my sandwich. The larger the star, the more sandwich power that you get. Okay, <clears throat> now to get these higher stars, you actually have to eat the sandwiches. I'm gonna eat the sandwich, and you are. Er, and you have to launch your partner. So to launch your partner higher, high enough to get the high stars, you have to weigh more. So if, as you saw when I ate that sandwich, my character got heavier. So now I can actually launch the other guy oops, up to get the higher stars. Let's see if I can. Uh, if I can. Uh, boom. All right. Great. Uh, only one star left. I guess I can try to guess when it's going to come out. Alright. So now we weigh the same. So there's no way to get that uh, sandwich. Or get that star. But since it's going that way, it's, I have much more time to time my jump if I make the other guy heavier. Sorry for the noise of putting down these controllers. Oh, I missed it. So you could even lose here. If I if I miss this enough and we equal the same weight, uh, that I could keep jumping to make one even skinnier. There's three stages. There's heavy, normal, and skinny. Let's see. I should be able to get the star here. All right. So we're on level two. So I believe there are some snarfs on this level. So I'm going to jump up and get some of these lower lower stars here. No snarfs? Oh, I guess no snarfs. Maybe level three. Okay. And let's see. I can get some of these higher stars right now without even eating those sandwiches. There we go. Could be one more. And the stars on the bottom left indicate the level that you're on. So I'm going to load this guy up. We'll probably have snarfs come out right away if I don't eat all those sandwiches. But that's okay. to that 
it's dark. Alright. Be funny if they if you ate so much they just died or something. That'd be pretty funny. Or they just throw up all over the sandwich machine. We can just jump, lose some weight. There we go. So as you can see, the game's not particularly challenging. When uh, I was very young with my friends, it was actually a ton of fun. And I should show, if you get really skinny, you can launch someone way, 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 way up. Which maybe I'll... Let me, uh... Oh, hello. Let me, uh... I keep forgetting which controller's which here. Let me show you that. Kind of fun. Okay, so there, there's my super skinny guy. Alright, so watch. If, uh... Since I'm two levels higher now, when I jump, I used to mess with my friends. If you miss, it just shoots them way up. And back in the day, we thought that was hilarious. And if you're not careful, you can end up losing the game. It would be sort of interesting to uh, see what the maximum level is. If it just keeps on going forever and ever. Uh, 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 shoot. I got confused which remote was which. Alright, let's see if I can get these stars. This is going to be pretty hard. Pause. Alright, this is going to come pretty quick. Ah! <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> this is going to be a pain. Alright. That's the quick one. So we'll do long pause. Very quick. Oh! Yeah, I bought this up. Alright. He won't go shooting up into the sky now. Uh oh. There's the end. So that's pretty much Peanut Butter Panic. Uh, sorry I didn't get us to the next level there. Um, I guess it's harder, <laughs> harder than I thought. I, I kind of got confused which controller was which and uh, sent the wrong guy after the sandwich. So, um, But it's a really, really fun game. Highly entertaining if you have a young one at home. I think it's a really fun game to play with them because you get to work together to defeat the snarfs. Uh, so I think that can be a lot of fun as opposed to a competitive game where you're competing against each other. So I hope you enjoyed that little look at Peanut Butter Panic. And again, this is a game that's very close to my heart from my childhood and that I still enjoy playing with my children today. So I hope you guys enjoyed looking at Peanut Butter Panic.